New tonight, a man is in custody following a deadly crash on Staten Island. As CBS 2's Alicia Reed reports, the people who live there say it happened on a street where cars are known to speed. Jessica, police say that car hit this barrier wall in front of the Highland Diner, taking out parts of it before hitting a utility pole. Unfortunately, the passenger that passed away was pregnant. Remnants of what was once a white Dodge sedan <laughs> lay crumpled along Highland Boulevard. It's pretty crazy. Around 4.30 Saturday morning, police say 30-year-old Adem Nikizik lost control, hit this wall, spun out, then hit a pole. His rear wheels kicked out because he tried to switch lanes. The car split in half, shredded, its seats visible from afar. It's sad. During impact, the 23-year-old passenger was ejected from the vehicle. She was pronounced dead at the scene. It's so sad. She was pregnant. The baby died also. That's another life. That's no words. Witnesses say police processed the scene on Highland Boulevard near Ross Avenue for upwards of eight hours. People who use this strip of roadway regularly say speeding is a normal occurrence. A lot of people race up and down here, especially mid late night. With the cameras, uh, people are slowing down, but not, not. Yeah, not enough. Police say the driver suffered minor injuries and was treated at Staten Island University North. He's now in police custody, facing criminally negligent homicide and DUI, amongst other charges. His relation to the passenger has not been confirmed. In Staten Island, Alicia Reed, CBS 2 News.